Uh, welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic Best Car Fixes. Always we are talking about uh, the CVT jitter and how to program to program those uh, transmission. This procedures, whether for Infinity or for Toyota, I mean for Infinity or Nissan, almost the same. Uh, in the uh, last video, one of my uh, subscribers say this is not the right way. Uh, I don't, I didn't get it, but um, I believe putting this file in the stick, uh, the flash stick, or the flash drive, the small one. Um, why I do that tool is coming like this. And the CF19, the laptop, the Panasonic, it doesn't have a D, you know, like a, a CD driver, you know, like this. DVD drive, it doesn't have it. So what I do is I take this one here and I put it here and I read and I will read this information from here and write it into a flash drive, a USB because that's the only way that I can transfer this file. And this one here or the floppy disk or, or all this are kind of uh, storage device just to store the information that you want you just read write storage you read you read information for a bit you store it into it so right now I'm going to open uh, okay okay now here this is uh, my files where I put and I create file always new folder where it is no I just want okay that's the new folder and I will write down 2016 rock my keyboard have an issue so I'm gonna open this I'm gonna move this one a little bit up and I will write down 20 let me highlight this and then I will write down 20 16 okay back okay. let me see something so I'm gonna create a file Okay. This is Nissan Rogue 20. And I will go to my uh, CD here. This is the file I needed. I will just copy it. And then I will come back to my other here. And I will go to 2016 Nissan Rogue. Is this the one? No, this is not the one because I have more than that. So I have here also, this, this also is full. So where I put it? Maybe here, this empty. I'm gonna put it here, maybe I write it wrong or just consider it here. And this file is um, 28X2B X59594 which is not bad. Not only that, I will go out here of the file and I will write it down here too. First, I want to see where it's going to stay. This is the last one here. F K K2 IPNFS 28 X2B X ending with 2552. 2552, if you look here, there is nothing with 2552, but I have here, 2552, another one. But so I have it, this one here, I'm going to memorize it. So this is all about it. This is the first step. So I'm going to take my CD here. I know what I have inside. I'm going to take this one here.
I'm gonna keep it here in case I have a used transmission and I have a jetter cord on it it will help so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that one so now we're gonna get our console 3 plus connected to the car and we continue to do the next step of configuration okay we are back here this is our car ignition have to be on as usual keys on now uh, the, the 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 flash drive is in the back to get the software part as I told you you have to have the software in two places because if you write it down one time there is a mistake you will not be able to get the software so I put it here somewhere but I know the number and I have it in a file too I'm gonna go connect my uh, <clears throat> console 3 plus and as it's here ignition is on and I will go only for diagnose one system don't go to full diagnosis click here and go to transmission okay okay now you see here is blinking in a few seconds I don't know if yeah, I have the OBD2 connected. I will be able to communicate with the car. Only transmission. And this code, as usual, as I told you, it will not go away. The P17F0 CVT Jada will never go away. We have to, for example, if I go back, I erase it. It will never go away. It may not turn the check engine light on. You see the check engine light is off. But maybe it's coming in next time. Or it will never go away. So what you need to do as I told you. Come to uh, work support. Write CVD jetter. Turn the key off. Ignition on. Start. Now go to desktop and get the software or from the file get the software okay now here is a desktop i will scroll down to see where that file is located file ending with 252 252 i have two 252 but if you look at it this is 59252 this one this is my file okay so the next i will say okay next here is where you have to be careful here it says you have to follow all this ignition on car stop engine off accelerator r so you see here be careful with uh, with the obd2 connector i don't know they put it in a place that's very hard to maneuver but do your best don't move the, that one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the gas pedal all the way down. Push the brake for moving the shifter to R. You see R, backup camera light on, and here also letter R is on. What you need to do now, start. Now he said turn the ignition off for two seconds. You cannot turn the ignition off the car in reverse. So put this one back. Remove your feet slowly. Remove your gas pedal. Then turn the ignition off. It will count two seconds. Zero second. Now turn the ignition on. Two time. One, two. No, one time. Good. Now click next. As soon as you click next, also, you say ignition on, engine not running, shifter is in a P position, park. And then click start. I'm going to click start. And it data written complete, successfully complete. Now, what we're going to do next, go to end and go back to diagnose here. You're going to see change from 
red to orange and as soon as you click erase this time it will change to green close beautiful our job is done i'm going to start my car configuration is written thank you for watching mobile electronic please subscribe share and like and see you in another video if i have another car anything that i do on diagnosis and programming maybe i have some mistakes maybe nobody's perfect but please this platform is for us so if you have any idea or anything to make this platform good and work fine i would really appreciate it كل الشكر والتقدير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته thank you very much and see you in another video please don't subscribe share and like